Well, it begins again. Mayor Catherine Pugh has named a new nominee for Baltimore Police Commissioner one day after her first choice withdrew his application for the job. WJZ is live at City Hall downtown. Kimberly Eaton has a look into the background of the man now tapped to lead the department. Kimberly? And Denise, Mayor Pugh wants to bring in the retiring superintendent of the New Orleans Police Department. She's touting his success in reducing violent crime there and leading his current department through a federal consent decree. This man could be the next Baltimore police commissioner. Tuesday, Mayor Catherine Pugh named her second nominee for the job, New Orleans Police Superintendent Michael Harrison. He uh, understands uh, the similarities between us and uh, New Orleans and Baltimore. Harrison has spent the last 27 years in uniform. His resume shows experience dealing with the kind of problems that plague Baltimore. Both cities historically top lists of the most murderous in America, and both have looked to Chicago's policing methods for guidance on reducing violence. But unlike Baltimore, in New Orleans, crime rates plummeted in 2018, hitting the lowest number of murders since 1971. And all well under a federal consent decree. Like BPD, New Orleans Police Department was ordered to fix civil rights abuses and misconduct. Last year, a judge said the department had made tremendous progress in reforming itself. So, to be able to attract a police chief who is reducing violence at its highest rate, I think bodes well for Baltimore. But Harrison was not the first choice to lead the department. I beg you, please do not. Confirm Joel Fitzgerald. Fort Worth Police Chief Joel Fitzgerald withdrew from the confirmation process Monday, saying his son is facing sudden and serious health problems. When asked why Harrison didn't get the nomination from the beginning, Mayor Pugh said he simply hadn't applied for the job. I'm giving advice, okay, and there's a process that has to take place. And some people were not willing to come into this process without complete confidence that their names would not be leaked out. And Chief Fitzgerald had faced a lot of criticism early on in his confirmation process. This time, Mayor Pugh says the new nominee will come here, he will meet people in the community, and then she will formally submit his name to City Council for confirmation. Reporting live from City Hall this afternoon, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ.